Hey guys, it's Eddie from Nostrum High Performance with Sam, our Director of Engineering. And today we are working on this Lingenfelter Corvette. So it's a Stingray with a wide body kit from Lingenfelter. It has their supercharger kit on it. What it features is our injectors for this vehicle. So Sam, you wanna tell us a little bit more about this vehicle? That's right, so this car has the biggest fuel injectors that we make right now. These are sold exclusively through Lingenfelter Performance. They are massive. These fuel injectors have already made over 1500 horsepower DI only on the engine dyno and they're capable of about 1700 horsepower on gasoline fuel. Uh, specifically they float 29 grams per second at 10 MPA which works out to a little bit over 40 grams per second at uh, 20 MPA which is a max pressure on the fuel system. For the PFI guys that's about 3400, 3500 cc's per minute so huge injectors and the reason why we're doing this today is because typically with very large fuel injectors you lose drivability it's it's an unavoidable trade-off i've got a 1000 horsepower gtr every morning it's difficult to start the car and then until it warms up it doesn't quite idle factory and there's nothing you can do about that because you're running into the physical limitations of the injector so we let the car sit for 20 hours we're going to start it up and we're just going to show you guys what the startup idle and drivability is like even at these extremes of the DI fuel system. So, like Sam said, it's been sitting there for a while. It's a true cold start. The engine is com well, it's completely cold. Look at that, completely cold. That was a pure cold start. So what kind of things do you mess with to achieve this and what is about our ejectors that can allow it to do this? It, it is quite involved and of course we're always willing to land calibration support anytime a customer is having issues trying to get the car to run right with our fuel system. Um, I, I don't want to get too technical for, for a short video, but essentially there's a lot of work that goes into maximizing the fuel pressure that we're running the injector at without ending up with a very short pulse duration. So, so we're working this, this fine balance between not running so much fuel pressure that the injector is not opening for a long enough duration to be consistent but running enough fuel pressure that we have good atomization and of course with the Nostrum Energy colliding jet fuel system we get better atomization to begin with which is part of the reason why we can have such large injectors that still have good idle quality. Let's uh, do you want to go take it for a spin while it's still cold and see drivability? Yeah I mean as a calibrator I have to point out that making power is easy you get a big enough engine you have enough boost in it it will always make power. Yeah. Making power you can live with every day, that's extremely difficult, sometimes impossible if you're trying to make enough horsepower. So that's kind of the point of this car. And of course, this is not a big power car, but this shows you what a big power fuel system drives like. Okay. At a later video, we'll show you guys what a big power car looks like with these injectors. Let's go for a spin. So again, like this features Lingenfelter's uh, supercharger kit, the cam different fuel pump and our injectors on it which you can purchase through Lingenfelter and uh, from a base Stingray this thing I think dynoed at like what did I tell you it was like 550 wheel I think they said it made 580 wheel on gasoline okay and it made 640 or 650 wheel on E85 so yeah this is a true flex fuel car mm -hmm. it actually has a continental flex fuel sensor and it will run on any gasoline ethanol blend so this is just light throttle just tip in. I'm doing this intentionally because when you're at light throttle, that's when the fuel injectors have the shortest possible pulses. That's when the cars tend to surge and buck and, and yeah. generally drive in undesirable ways. And okay. I'm just massaging it. Massaging it's, the throttle gently. And of course, it's got power, but yeah. right now, engine's cold. The tech is telling me not to go above 4,500 RPMs, and I'm gonna do it. This is what calibrators look at every day. They just 
it's like the matrix. Yeah, I just see. I I don't even see numbers anymore. I oh, do, you just I, I look at that and I see a spark table. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> you think I'm joking? Uh, at night, Sam dreams about calibration tables and Excel sheets and graphs and data. That's what that's what that's what excites him. Or I stay up and actually get work done. <laughs> Somebody's got to work out here, right? Somebody's got to work for sure. Our injectors and everything that Linker Brother does to this product means it's like livable. Right. With so horsepower fueling to support 1,700 horsepower. Exactly. It's the, not going crazy. The takeaway here is I would challenge anyone to drive this car and say it's not stock. And yet we've got 1,700 horsepower worth of fuel here. Yep. Well, that's a win-win. Put some fuel in it. Take it back and uh, let the drop it back off at Linken Father, Right. Any closing words? Uh, I think we covered it all. I think we covered it. Yeah. If you guys want to learn more about our fuel systems and the work that we do at Nostrum High Performance, please go to our website. NostrumShop.com. Follow us on social media. We're doing more of these type of videos, kind of behind the scenes of uh, our products and development. And if you want, if you have a Corvette and you want to make it fast with good injectors and good products, go to Lincoln Felter. That's right. Yeah. Thanks, guys.